They told you it's good if you know nothing. So you're not... I can see your interview went real well then, huh? Wow. You went good. Uh, what? Well, you know, not, not to be rude here, but basically they just gave you a job and said, here, since you know nothing, you'd be great at this. Yeah, anyone can sell a car, right? Oh. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best not to take offense to that. Okay. Because this is a, uh, a well-honed craft and skill. So, no, not just anyone can sell a car. Get that straight. Okay, I'll write it down in my notes. Yeah, yeah, take notes. Oh, you're sitting here talking to me, asking me for help and for using my experience, and then you want to say anybody can do this. You know how long I've been doing this? Probably longer than you've been alive, okay? All right? I would agree with that. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. So anyway, if I can go back to what I was trying to do to help you in your career. Sorry. Yeah, I bet you are. So you sit them down, you write them up, you get them in the box. You go get your hit figure from the boss. You write them up, and you want, when you, when you give them the hit figure, and when you hit them with the down payment and the monthly payment, you want to have to peel them off the ceiling. Okay? Peel them off the ceiling? When you tell them how much this trade is worth, you want it to hit the ceiling. You want to make them mad? Yeah, you want to make them mad. And then you peel them off, and then you bring them back down, and you say, hold on, hold on a minute there, Mr. Customer. Okay? Okay. This, that part will be easy for you because you can just you don't even have to pretend like you don't know what you're talking about. You that. Maybe that's not even your car. It'll just flow with you. So, you, uh, yeah, I'm glad you get a kick out of this. I got to tell you, you don't know how many how many green peas that I've gone through and I've trained. You know, and none of them ever stick around. I give them all the tools and they just end up getting out of here. Or, you know, a couple of them that don't listen to anything I say, and then they get promoted, losers. Mm. Yeah. So, you get a customer, you write them up, you, get the, you want to get a commitment, okay? Okay? And then you get commitment and glue. You take glue to the desk. Glue is down payment. It's their downstroke. It's some kind of financial commitment. Listen, honey, I've taken, I've taken watches to the desk as my commitment to show that they're committed to buy the car. A watch? A watch. Wasn't even a really good one either, but I got it off their wrist. It was their favorite. I've taken up a pair of boots. Dude, you want to buy this car without any kind of commitment? All you're doing is saying, yeah, if you give me $200 a month on this $40,000 car, I'd buy it right now. Show me some commitment somewhere. You got zero down? Okay, give me something. Give me glue. I took a guy's shoes right off his feet. Feet? Yeah, cowboy boots. Oh, my God. Oh, they stunk. He said they were $400 cowboy boots. Those things weren't worth 50 cents when he gave them to me. Did they take huh. them? Hmm? Yeah, well, I took them up to the desk. The glue, all the glue does is helps the deal stick. It helps the customer not leave. If I got the keys to a paid-off trade, that's glue. If I got money from the customer, that's glue. Because they ain't leaving without it, right? I had the dude's shoes. Okay, Green Pea? I had his shoes. Where do you think he's going? Nowhere. Glue. You get glue, you bring it to the desk. You understand in any of this? Yes, glue, I got it, okay. to the desk. Yeah, and then they're gonna give you a couple pencils. That's where they write out negotiations, pencil, pencil. all right? First pencil's always a hard pencil. Is a lot it of money down. Pencil? Hmm? Is it written No. Well, it's pencil, I thought that maybe... No, no, okay. no. Sorry. Maybe, yeah, lighten, don't let the bleach get so far into the roots next time, okay? Because this is just getting... I can't even believe I'm doing this. So you got the glue, you get a hard pencil from the desk, you negotiate with the customer, there's a little back and forth, a little, a little give and take, and hopefully within the first or second pencil you get them signed. That's a lay down, okay? Mm -hmm. Lay down, good customer. They just see the first pencil and they say, okay, I'll take it. A lot of money down, nothing for their trade, whole lot a month. Okay. They're happy customers and you're a happy salesperson, okay? They grind, grinders, it's another one, grinders, they're the opposite of a lay down. A grinder is gonna beat on you and grind on you for every stinking penny. They suck. Which they, you, do you normally get? Not uh, lay downs. Mm -hmm. Well, I turn them into lay downs. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, I work for my money. 
But the grinders, I'm telling you, if you know pretty soon in, you got a grinder, get away as quick as you can. Turn them. Get rid of them. They're going to be an eight-hour grind marathon deal for a stinking hundred-dollar mini. And by the time you're done with it, and they're the most unhappy customers, don't even bother with them. You know you're working with a grinder? You can launch them. Don't let the managers see you, though. You know, right they'll write you up. Office, huh? Just let them go. Well, you got to be careful about that. I'll, I'll show you how to do that. Okay. You know, you got to make. You know, sometimes you got to make stuff up to the manager. You, oh, you know, wife called, killed kid. You know, kid broke his leg at soccer or something. Okay. You got to come up with something good. So, but to get rid of them. So you know, and grinders. The problem with grinders is, grinders are usually lightning. Credit. Lightning. Lightning. It's like bullets. They're great. Good credit. Oh, that's, good. that's usually how the grinders go. Lay down, sometimes there's a little give and take, but they don't care what kind of, well, you know, they'll, they'll sign at whatever rate you want. They don't care. So, lay downs are good. So, oh yeah. And then another thing you want to oh, do. There's a customer. It's an op! Don't you know anything? Learn nothing. Ah, Greenpeace. <laughs>